Mr. Upton, thank you so much. Fred, it's always Fred. Good morning. <laughs> Good, Good morning. morning. How are you? You're off to Washington uh, this morning, aren't yep, you? Yep, we've got votes this afternoon, rest of the week. All right, well, the big thing on Capitol Hill, obviously, is the impeachment inquiry, which uh, the last couple of weeks we've been diving into. You voted against the inquiry. Can you tell us why? Well, it was actually the process that's involved. You know, it's, it's not like it was for Bill Clinton or, or Nixon. We want a full and open, transparent uh, process. Uh, lots of classified closed door meetings, uh, members. I'm not on one of the three committees that's actually interviewing the witnesses, but a lot of those uh, meetings are in classified sessions. They're not able to use then the, the transcripts from those earlier meetings in the public hearings that they've had before. So virtually, well, it was. Every Republican voted no on, on the process. And, you know, the, the, the speaker yesterday apparently on TV said she didn't know how long it could take, could go beyond Christmas. You know, we've got a lot of things to do. We've got to vote to keep the government open a little bit later this week. Uh, the budget still isn't done. And not, none of the appropriation bills are done. Uh, it's been really a do-nothing Congress as this has taken, the impeachment stuff has taken center stage. Uh, we've got work to do, which is why I'm going back today. What, what questions specifically, if any, would you like to see answered? What, what kind of transparency specifically are you talking about? Well, there's about? a lot of witnesses that are being called. I know that the ambassador who testified last week, she, was, uh, she left her post in May. Uh, the phone call that took place with the president was in, was in July. Uh, the aid at the end of the day did go forward. Uh, I've been one that has supported aid uh, to Ukraine to, to, to take on the Russian aggression. The Javelin missiles uh, that we tried to get actually under President Obama didn't happen until this pre until President Trump got into to action. But, you know, it's, uh, we'll, we'll figure this thing out uh, mm -hmm. at, at the end of the process. Uh, we're going to have lots uh, more hearings uh, in the next couple of weeks, and we'll, we'll see where it takes us. Let's turn the focus here locally to Michigan and the gas tax. There was a proposed uh, gas tax that was going to go in from Governor Gretchen Whitmer that was going to focus on, you know, helping the roads and the infrastructure. Well, that gas tax is no longer on the table. What would you like to see happen? How are you working? Well, with our that? roads are in bad shape. Uh, I'll confess I went to the Michigan-Michigan State game on Saturday, a long drive across the state back and forth. Our roads are not very good in Michigan. Uh, Governor Whitmer proposed a 45 cent gas tax. It was dead on arrival. Now, one of the reasons, particularly as I met with a number of our state reps, was that all of, virtually all of the money that was gonna be collected, none of it went to Southwest Michigan. Uh, that's not a very good plan. So uh, right now, the uh, Lansing is a little bit in chaos. They've got no budget. Uh, they really don't have a lot of money for roads. Uh, this thing has gotta be resolved doesn't look like the state legislature is coming back until next month and you know whether it's road funding whether it's funding for our sheriffs our rural hospitals our charter schools uh, lots of things are unfunded as the uh, legislature has taken a break I gotta ask you one quick question here you've been in you've been a representative for 30 years and you're coming up on another election cycle. Have you thought about what your plans are for the future for next year? You know, we've never made a decision this early. Even when I thought about running for Senate, we didn't decide until Thanksgiving. So we've, we've got some time. In Michigan, the filing deadline is not until April. We're doing everything right. I wouldn't be getting up at 4.30 in the morning <laughs> like I did today to, to see you. Uh, if we didn't want to keep everything in place as we try to make a decision for next year. Still still a year away. And we appreciate that. Thank Campaigns you so are much. long enough as it is, <laughs> let me tell you. Representative nice you. Fred Dupton, nice to see you as well joining us this morning. We're going to be right back here in just a moment.